in the Galapagos Islands, we have never before lost an endemic land bird species. The mangrove finch belongs to the Darwin finches. It is one of those world famous finch species and we have absolutely no intention of risking to lose them. We want to save them at all cost. Mangrove finches are found only in the Galapagos on Isabella Island. So the total range of the species is currently only 30 hectares. And there's only about 60 to 80 individuals remaining in the wild. This is the entire population of the mangrove finch in the whole world. Mangrove finches are really close to extinction. We've got just a handful of breeding pairs and we have to do something really urgently to ensure that that doesn't happen. So jointly with the Galapagos National Park in 2007, we initiated rat control. And so there's now bait stations throughout the mangrove forest where the finches live, which has seen an increase in nesting success. What is still threatening mangrove finches is the introduced parasitic fly, Philornis downsi, of which the larval stage lives in the nest and sucks the blood of the nestlings. And over the last four years, this fly parasitism has caused up to 95% mortality. There's a large team of international scientists collaborating and working on methods to control the Philornis fly. Some of the methods that we're investigating right now include biological control using natural enemies such as parasitic wasps, trapping using a, an attractant. Any kind of control method which we could realistically apply here to the mangrove finch population is still several years away so we need to get in first and start doing something to, to boost the mangrove finch population until we find a way to control the fly. And what we've seen over the past seasons is several pairs lay eggs, they may abandon their eggs, and the pair immediately lay more eggs. So what we hope to do is by us humans taking down those first eggs, the birds would then relay. We could try to rear those first babies, which they fail to do, and still leave the wild pair to relay and hopefully rear their own young later in the year. Therefore, there's a chance to double the number of live chicks per pair. However, this is the first time that it's ever been done with any of Darwin's finches, actually. From late January of this year, 2014, a field team with Charles Darwin Foundation staff and volunteers and Galapagos National Park Rangers went out to the field to camp at mangrove finch habitat. We were successful in lowering 10 mangrove finch nests and managed to collect 21 eggs and three small chicks during a month period. El equipo de guardaparques colaboró en la colección de los huevitos en el campo, en el transporte de estos hasta Puerto Llora, en el centro de crianza en la estación científica Charles Darwin, en donde el equipo del zoológico de San Diego se encargó de la incubación de los huevitos y la crianza de los pichones. Once the foundation team have collected the nest from the wild, the eggs are transported in a portable incubator to our hand room room here at the Charles Darwin Foundation. We're then incubating the eggs, feeding the chicks up to 15 times a day, until they've fledged, learning to feed themselves and ready to go back to the mangrove. We feed the chicks wasp larvae that we harvest locally, ground chicken, papayas, pellets, uh, and some moths that we also catch locally. The mangrove finch fledglings were taken back to the pre-release aviaries at Playa Tortuga Negra, where we looked after them for one month and they were able to adapt to live in their natural environment. At the end of April, the birds were released back into the mangrove forest and monitored for a month. And now we're really hopeful of their long-term survival.